It's a, it's a big pleasure to, to explore. I, I, I was thinking of it. To explore in the unknown and to, to feel, to feel the, the sound, to, to feel, and to, to, to not know, you know, I, it's like, I don't know what's going to, to happen. I don't know. I have to, to work. I work with sounds that, that uh, I like, that uh, breathe, that uh, transport me. Mm. I think that the, the sounds are alive. They are, they are beings of sounds. And they, they transport me. Mm -hmm. and it's like a plane or a rocket, you know? Mm -hmm. And, um, but then I play with them. With, and I don't know what's going to be, how, how the sound is going to be. And that's what I like is, is that, is to be, and in the unknown, where I don't know what's, it's, it's, how it's coming. So it's a lack, it's, it's to, totally um, let go. Yeah, let innocent. Go. innocent. Let go. No innocent. thinking, nothing, no, no, no uh, aim, no aim. Not I know I want to, to aim at that. No, no aim, no nothing. Just being, just the beingness in the, in the moment. In the, in the moment that is no, not a moment that is out of time. Mm -hmm. It's out of time. Mm -hmm. And because it's out of time, I think it is in this time, no time, in this no time, that the transformation happens. Mm -hmm. Because we are no longer in a linear story. Yes. And then we escape the linear. We escape. The, the past that was, you know, in that was uh, that we all the experience that we experienced in the in the linear past, and so that did that to us, or that maybe are were very destructive, and then we we still have that in our cells or in our memories, and so we escape that. So that's that's what I enjoy now, and being yeah. the unknown and. Uh, it's just like I have the I have the uh, experience that the unknown still I can go there and it's it's like my I don't know how to I, there's no word it's, it's, it comforts me a lot because the known is too too much known. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Matthew, do you want to give a comment? About the known being already known what was that last one yeah jack what was your last it was then she said that the known is too much known well the unknown is not knowable so yeah it's experienceable it's an it's experience. experienceable exactly look like, like when we or i work with someone it's it's all about the it's all about the resonance. Uh, I have the, I have them go in deeply through breath and resonate out a sound, a tone, and then I and I or we we will match that tone, and then we have them. We have them, and we're able to craft them. We're able to bring that bring that tone thereby bringing them to a to a, a different place a higher place it's and then it's like you are on when you're playing your organ you know it you don't know what you're going to play but you it, it it's it's a very particular note you're going to play it can't be anything other than than that note. It's a very, very precise art. Very, very precise. Same with making the, the, the tones, because each one is opening up a new dimension, a new a new a new pathway on which to travel. 
Um, and it's it, it's definitely not knowing. It's it's going it's going through the unknown, mm -hmm. through the void. And 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 when we do that, we're opening new space. Mm -hmm. um, funny, we have a bird, the, the parrot. I don't know if you heard the parrot. <laughs> Whenever we open the space, the parrot goes crazy. The parrot feels something, you know. It's an African gray parrot, and it starts to scream. <laughs> it's just because it, it senses something. It senses that we're, we we have gone, we've we've gone through the threshold into a different world, and it's through it's through the sound, the the drum, the tone. There's a very very particular resonance. It's never the, it's never really the same. Mm -hmm. No, never. No, no it's. Mm -hmm. And it's it's but it's a ter the territory is often very familiar to people. They they remember something. It's they remember the it's, a, it's something very primal. It's very primal. That, that, that often they say it's like coming home. Yeah, but that that's that's what I hear. It's coming home, of course. Yeah, you're you're coming home and. Oh, it's the feeling of that. Yeah, coming into Can I say something just now. I don't sure. know. Is that at the same time because it's what you say that makes me remember that. Um, that at the same time that I like to be in this uh, this unknown. I don't know what's going to happen in the next uh, second. At the same time, I I under I know I obey. I obey a law. A law, a mathematical structure that I I'm I cannot do different. <laughs> yeah, it has it 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 has to be exactly what it has to be. Yeah, yeah. That, that, and you don't know what, but you don't know what it has to be. No, no. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. You're, wa you're walking it in the unknown. Exactly. You're that, walking blind, at least initially. Yeah, but you cannot do this, and then it, if when I listen to it again, when I I record it, if it if it's not what was to be, I I could not uh, uh, <laughs> yeah. stand it, you know. Yeah. So it's both. Um, I thank you because you made me re reconnect with that aspect. Is is a, a obedience. To obedience, it. yeah. Obedience, yeah. Yes. And at the same time, the feeling that it's it's so wide that uh, you don't know what's coming in. You know, it's I. It's it's a mixture of these two. Yeah. What so. I, what I like what I like about both comments, the Jacquard and Matthew comment, is that um, you guys are describing the way of being of the new human where when the consciousness achieves certain state of maturity you start taking this process as natural because it's natural the resonance of your essence make your body or your form or your expression obedient it's always trying to make you to obey it's always trying to tell you to listen and that obedience becomes your passion becomes your fulfillment and in that not insisting as jacob say not insisting in any outcome and doing it over and over and over, you learn. You learn about your own resonance. You learn about the cosmic creation that we call unknown. But as we know, the unknown is life itself. But the way to tune in, the passport, is very simple. Is 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 not. We put the example of the shamanic journey or the creation of art. But we can apply that in our daily life as we connect with our own voice, our own resonance, and obey that. 
every single moment and take that as a passion, not only as a, oh yeah, I need to do that and I will do it three years from here. Mm -hmm. Is you act on it and you have no outcome you is not your business what it will come out of that expression mm -hmm. or what it will be for and you keep doing it because in that way you animate the resonance and in the, that moment poof you are in the dimension of the next step of evolution which is that imagine if everybody has that same obedience in their own field in their own life that is precisely the um, opening to the synchronicities to be um, symbiotic beings, to be feeding from each other, not from power, but from exchange of information. Mm -hmm. So it's in that way that we need to envision that that is the platform that proves over and over to the ones that have some kind of vision, some kind of mysticism, some kind of fulfillment, some kind of service. We all agree in the same thing. Follow your passion, obey with no out, uh, agenda of the outcome, do it again, keep positive and reinforce that over and over for life because that's your that's your mission that's your voice that's your resonance and in that way we're creating the new earth in that way we're creating the dimension that we want to be in right so it's not just like oh it's a little tip about how to conduct your life no it's about the actual agreement with your nature that you need to do that there's no other way around. We, you can do it in music and healing.